that are hurting. There are people there. There is a ministry there. There is a group of people that pastor is going to pastor to. And, and although it might seem like a few people are showing up here and there, last month we had a brother from Kenya come out to the service. He lives in Kenya, but he was in Praise Temple, Long Island. Yes, sir. Amen. And then yesterday we had a, a young lady show up with two children. Come to find out she had seven children. And then her mother showed up. And, and, and they were displaced, they were homeless, but they were in the hotel, and now they're looking for a place to live. And, and I think this week, if I'm not mistaken, based on what she said, uh, uh, they would have a, a, a place to live. So you got to understand Amen. that what ministry is, ministry is not just coming to church. Amen. Ministry is serving the people. Amen. And there's a need for it. Amen. Amen. So it was worth it. It was worth the five and six hour drive there. It was worth the four hours, five hours there. And then it was worth it all for the six hours to come back home. Amen. 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 And God saw fit to get us there and back safe. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I, 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 I know sometimes the small things seem insignificant no. at times. No. Hallelujah. Never. But when you really think back, oh! To God. When you think back about what God has done just for you, forget the world, just for me. Hallelujah. We talked in Sunday school yesterday, even though it was Saturday, we still had Sunday school. Hallelujah. I know, I know what I did. Look, look, I can't even say I know what I went through. I know what I went through, but I know what I did. I know what I did. And I, and I didn't need no help from the devil doing it. That's right. That's right. I know what I did. I know what I said to people. I know how I treated people. I know what I did to people. And everything that I did, I should have been dead. Not in jail, because jail would have been too easy. I should be dead, amen? Hallelujah. So I know we're pressing this morning. Hallelujah. The children were so awesome this morning. Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. We love the children. I tell you, we love the children. Y'all pray for me, hallelujah, and my family, because I'm, I'm praying the day that I see my four grandchildren running amen. around in here as well. Amen. 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 But they, thank you. Amen. 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 They, they, they coming. It's, it's in God's time and not mine. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Y'all ready for the word? Amen. Oh, Jesus. I know we got we got some other formalities we got to deal with as far as uh, the offering and everything. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you're at home, we thank God for you. We will take up our physical offering at the end. But if you are at home and you want to uh, bless this ministry, you go to our website. You can go to Give the Five or you can text the word Give to 804-315-3302. Amen. Hallelujah. And we always know. We know what the word of God says. And, and, and let me go back for a second. Pastor talks about all the time about the sample giving here and how you can increase your giving. And how many of you know that what you have on? Your glasses, your clothes, your shoes, your car, your gas, everything. It's tied to your giving. Amen. And that includes the children. Amen. Because just because you don't have a job to give, the way that you give love and respect yes. to your parents and to your elders, amen. it's tied to giving. Amen. And so we just want to do what the Bible says about giving, amen, so that we may continue. Notice I didn't say to be blessed. I'm saying continue to be blessed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's not rob God, right? And how do we rob him? And that's through our tithes and offerings. So right. let's make sure we do what the word of God says Amen. because we don't want to be cursed with the curse. Amen. Nope. Amen. I am trying to make heaven. And the last time I checked, if I got curses all over me, I won't make heaven. I won't make heaven. Amen. Amen. Bring all your tithes into the storehouse that there may be me in my house. Prove me. The Lord saying, prove me. Try Trust in me. Give me what I ask for. That's right. And watch me work. Watch me work. Hallelujah. And I will rebuke the devourer. For our sake. For our sake. Amen. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Hallelujah. Lord, think about that. All the things that God has allowed us to have, to procure, to secure in our Oh, in this world, you don't want nobody taking it away from you. You don't want nobody taking it away from you. And I'm going to say this. Don't let it be taken away from you because of your ignorance. Now, I'm going to say something else. 
people think ignorance is a bad word. Ignorance nope. is not a bad word. The oh, word no. ignorance just simply means lack of knowledge. That's so right. don't let yeah. your lack of knowledge yeah. stop you from being blessed. That's right. right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, stand on your feet very quickly. We're going to say our given statement, and then we're going to move expeditiously into the Word of God. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, this is your time, this is your time. and this is my offering. It's, it's not a dead I owe, but a seed I sow. I give it cheerfully. Bless me abundantly. And bless praise temple tremendously. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Get planted, grow, and prosper. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Y'all ready for the word again? Come on, man. Let's just get ready for the word. Y'all just look at Pastor Brown. Point your hands at Pastor Brown. Point your fingers at him. Point your hands at him. Point your toes. Hallelujah. Point your heart at him right now. Hallelujah. Jesus. And say, preach the word, Pastor. Preach the word, Pastor. Preach the word, Pastor. Preach the word, Pastor. Hallelujah. I present you to Pastor. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me.
on this morning. Amen. We thank God for those who travel. Thank God for those who are here. Amen. Thank God for those who are online. Praise the Lord. But above all things, amen, I thank God I'm in the land of the living. Amen. I thank God he allowed me to see another day. Right. Amen. I thank God he has let me press, press towards the mark of the prize of the high call of God in Christ Jesus. Dean, could you just turn a little bit of bass out of my mic? I appreciate that. Amen. And we thank God for his grace today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. On today, praise the Lord. I just have a thought I want to leave with the church. Praise God. And we're going to go to the book of Acts chapter 26. Amen. And I asked the Lord, Lord, is this really what you want me to preach? He said, preach that. I preached it. I asked the Lord the same thing yesterday when I preached. I said, you remember when we preached that? He said, preach that. And I've come to learn, amen, that it's, I don't care how great your message is. You can have your introduction. You know, we got some preachers in here, praise the Lord. Got your introduction, have your three pieces, and your closing, and God ain't in it. Come on. <laughs> you ain't said nothing. But I know God can take one word and preach a whole sermon to the saints. Amen. 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 I'm going to show a little nostalgia today. I, I want to sing another song. Y'all might not know this song, but amen. It says, I'm saved. By his power divine, saved with new life sublime. Life now is sweet, all my joy is complete, for I'm saved, saved, saved. Y'all don't know that, do you? For I'm saved by his power divine, saved. Am I glad just to be saved? Amen. 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 Book of Acts today. Give us a praise the Lord. Pray for Lady Brown. She's out today. She's got this cough we can't seem to get rid of. But, you know, the Lord is a Savior. Amen. And today we're going to go to the book of Acts chapter 26. Amen. And read one verse there. Verse number two. We don't honor God. We ask anyone who can't stand. Please stand. Let's honor God. We welcome our visitors today here today. God bless you. So glad to see you. Amen. If you see somebody you haven't seen before, just look out and say, good to see you. Wait a minute. Say, good to see you. Amen. Good to see you. Amen. Make sure you greet them after church and welcome them to the house of God. Amen. One, one chapter here today. Amen. One verse here in Acts chapter 6. Amen. And um, we won't read this today. Is it up here, Mark? We got this up here? Praise God. And um, I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, this is it? He said, yeah, this is it. So, so here we go. Somebody say amen. amen. How many know that obedience is better than sacrifice? Amen. amen. And um, I'm encouraging everybody, if God has pressed something for you to do, you know, do it. Amen. amen. Ministry, purpose, activities, the word, do what God's asked you to do. Amen. 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 So Acts chapter 26, verse 2, let's read. He says, I think myself happy, King Agrippa. Because I shall answer for myself this day before thee, touching all the things where I am accused of the Jews. Father, we ask that you bless this word. Keep us by your grace divine. In Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. amen. You can have a seat in the house of God. Amen. And my thought today is to get yourself some happy thoughts. Amen. I say get yourself some happy thoughts. Amen. Hallelujah. Too many times, praise God, hallelujah. Amen. We, as people of God, allow our minds to get away from us. Can we say amen? amen. Our whole thing this year, praise God. Amen. Uh, let me back up. Praise God. We honor to the word of God. Honor to the saints and friends. Honor to all those in the house of God. We say we greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And say praise the Lord. Amen. Book of Acts. Amen. Luke writes the book of Acts. Luke, praise God, writes these two books called, called, called the book of Luke. And the book of Acts, praise the Lord. Right. These two books are sandwiched by a book called the St. John. Right. St. John, praise God, really ties the book of Luke, Luke and the book of Acts together. Because when you get to the St. Luke, you've already been through Matthew and Mark. Right. You've already been, amen, have a good understanding of who Jesus is through what he does to those who speak it to those who are a Gentile audience. We get to Luke, praise the Lord. Luke becomes one who does, it's almost as if Luke was doing a PhD. He was, he was born, you know, uh, several decades and walked several decades after, praise God, uh, 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 the birth of Christ, after Christ walked the earth. He, 
Praise the Lord. Even though he's considered the, the, the apostle Luke or the, the epistle Luke, Luke was not an, an apostle. Right. Luke, praise God, was more like a, he was more like if he had to go back and do, uh, some of you have been in school, you do a PhD, you go back and do research, and you formulate an idea of thought based off eyewitnesses and testimonies. Mm -hmm. Luke, amen, praise God, amen, does this, praise the Lord, in the book of Luke, amen, and, and, and you see a lot more detail, a lot of, amen, uh, uh, particular uh, parables and miracles that you see in Matthew and Mark, praise God, and John, Luke, but Luke is a little more detailed, then Luke writes it to this man called Theophanus, Theophanus is his audience, he he's telling Theophanus, amen, about the things that he's seen and witnessed, praise God, John is in between Luke, Luke and Acts, praise God, because it speaks to, it strengthens and solidifies the deity of Christ, amen, amen. it tells us that Christ is God made known unto us in a fleshly form, amen, God who is a spirit has no body, Amen. But he needed a body in order to redeem us from sin. Because sin was committed where? In the flesh. So he had to, he had to destroy the works of, of sin in the flesh. That we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So 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 he, he, uh, Paul writes, in the fullness of the Godhead was in, was in Jesus. Amen. John picks up and he says the same place that, that, that Moses picks up. He says, in the beginning, God. Right? Moses says that, right? Amen. Amen. Luke says, in the beginning was the Word. On, Amen. Right. Praise the Lord. And the Word was what? With God and the Word was God. Amen. Praise God. And he drops down to the 14th verse in the first chapter of the book of John. And he says, praise God, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld his, uh, him as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace. And full of truth. We only know there's only one that's full of grace and truth. That's God. Amen. amen. But he needed a body. Praise God. And he called himself the son of God. Amen. In order to perform the works of God for redemption purposes. Can we say amen? amen. We get to the book of Luke. Praise the Lord. And Luke begins out in this. Praise God. Amen. With Jesus still on the earth. In Acts, Jesus is still on earth in the book of Acts. Amen. amen. He does not ascend. Praise God. Into the first chapter of the book of Acts. Amen. And he says, he says, wait into Jerusalem till you be endued with power from all high. You know, I love having the Holy Ghost. I love having the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost will give you strength when you least suspect it. The Holy Ghost will encourage you when you're downtrodden. The Holy Ghost, praise God, will lift you up, praise the Lord. Amen. And cause you to do the work that he called. And you find out at the end of the day, it was not you, but it was God. Amen. He says, praise God, wait here till you be endued with power from on high. Amen. We find a manifestation of that in the second chapter of the book of Luke. I mean, book of Acts. Amen. As he writes this second letter to Theophanes, praise the Lord. Amen. As he writes this second letter to Theophanes, praise God. He, he tells him, praise God. Amen. Praise God. There was a sound of a rushing mighty wind. Come on, somebody. Amen. And it filled the house. Hallelujah. We need God to fill the house. Right. We need God to fill this house. Amen. We need God to fill this house. Right. Hallelujah. Because when God fills this house, ain't nothing else can get in. Right. If something's full, praise God, ain't nothing else can get in there. Amen. 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 Maybe some of us, our house ain't full. That's why some of the other stuff is in there. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You need to pray, Lord, Lord, fill my house. Hallelujah. With the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That may be pleasing in your sight. And we go down through the oracles and the, and the presentations of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We run into, amen, Peter and John at the temple. Praise God. We run into, praise God, this man called the Apostle Paul. Amen. Amen. A murderer. Amen. Praise God. Amen. A convictor of the church. Amen. The one that stood at the stoning of Stephen. And gave his consent that you need to take that brother out of here. Amen. amen. Praise God. We see, amen, the conversion of Paul. We see Paul change on his road called Damascus Road. Amen. amen. This Damascus experience is for everybody. Amen. I'm going to say that again. This Damascus experience is for everybody. Amen. Everybody needs a revelation of God, hallelujah, and who he really is. Amen. And understand, praise God, what you what we are really supposed to supposed to do in God. Amen. Right. amen. Praise God. Paul has this, amen, this Damascus Road experience, praise the Lord. Amen. He is blinded, amen, by scales on his eyes. Amen. And, and it, is, it is hypothetically, praise God, and metaphorically, amen, all because Paul was a Pharisee, a Pharisee. Amen. He set, amen, one of the greatest teachers of the law. Amen. Praise God. All that law that Paul knew, amen, in the Moses, praise God, in the, in the Pentateuch, the first five books, amen, and in the prophets and in the Psalms, uh -huh. Jesus said, Amen. Paul, that they were talking about me. Amen. Praise God. He said, and Paul says, who art thou, Lord? That tells me that Paul knew the voice of God. Amen. Amen. He knew the voice of God in his life. Praise the Lord. But he but he was going the wrong direction. And I'm so glad that God will bring correction in my life. Yeah. I'm so glad, praise God, because he says his sons and his daughters, he chastened and corrected. 
Praise God. If you can't be corrected by the power of God, you're not a son of God. Amen. You're not a daughter of God. Hallelujah. He said, those who I can, I can correct and I'm chasing after that, they become my sons and daughters. That's right. Too many rogue Christians out here. Whoa. Amen. Too many ones, praise God, professing to be, amen, children of God, but you can't be corrected by the word. That's right. Praise the Lord. Amen. And when the preachers say something, you're ready to throw a brick at them, but that's okay. Amen. The Lord understands, praise God, that we have to, amen, be led by the power and the word of God. Amen. I'm getting where I'm going here in a minute. Praise the Lord. And so we see the excerpts of Paul. You see Paul going to the people of God. We see Paul, amen, striving to teach the word to his own people, but you know his own people turned him away because they called him a traitor. They call him a traitor because he forsook the law of Moses. Amen. But when Jesus went to the Mount of Transfiguration, praise God, he, who else showed up there at the Mount of Transfiguration? Did not, praise God, hallelujah, Moses show up at the, at the Mount of Transfiguration? Did not Elijah show up at the Mount of Transfiguration? And Jesus was sitting there talking with them. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. What, what, what do you think they were talking about? <laughs> That's always been a question as a child. What do we think they were talking about? I think they might have been talking about everything that God had already planned to do. Because when they got done, praise God, Peter looked up and said, man, this is amazing. I see Moses. I see Elijah, great men of God in, in the Old Testament. But he said, but he saw Jesus, praise the Lord. He said, we've got to build three tabernacles. God said, no, Peter. Right. I got one on my mind. Right. Yeah. Praise God. They were just to make a way for what was coming. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. And he said, he said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Yeah. Hear him. Right. So Jesus shows up, amen, as the distillation of God for salvation out of the prophets and out of the law. Right. Praise the Lord. Right. They were pointing to him. Praise right. God. Amen. And Paul, amen, goes on down through here. And Paul, praise God, is going from church to church, running about, going to the Gentiles, going to the Roman, amen, providences, amen, building up and setting up churches. But but how many know, praise the Lord, people not happy when you're doing God's will. Right. Amen. People, praise the Lord, hallelujah, no matter how much you fast and how much you pray, amen, praise God, the devil's not happy with you. But I'm here to let you know today, praise God, that the Bible says great. Greater is he that's within me than he that's in this world. So even though the devil tries to stop me and tries to block me, praise God, the plan of God is going to go forth. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul, praise the Lord, appeals unto, amen, Caesar when his brother captures him. Paul says, just like Jesus said, I got to go and be taken captive because I got to let the whole world know I'm going straight to the top. That's right. He was going to say, I'm going to go straight to the top. But in this process of appealing straight to the top, praise God, we get to this place, amen, here, when he gets before King Agrippa. King Agrippa, praise God, was the one that was raised and born in and grew up in Jewish heritage. Though, no, amen, he was a Roman ruler. Amen. Paul, praise the Lord, amen, begins to dictate unto him the revelation that God gave him. Amen. We got to understand something, church. Amen. Jesus is the express image of God. Jesus is God's greatest revelation. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's why, hallelujah, all that's done in word and deed got to be done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He is the hallelujah. He is the Jehovah has become my salvation. That's what his name means. Praise God. It is really the last Jehovahistic title that's been established in the Bible that's revelated unto me because the Bible says his name shall be called Jesus. Now go back and look in your Bible, praise the Lord. And in the Old Testament, you see the word Lord in capital letters. When the writer of New Testament writes, he writes Jesus' name in capital letters. That's right. Amen. Let you know who he is. That's right. Amen. Let you know he's God made known unto us that we might be saved. Praise God. Church, this world is going down, but, but God's going to take us up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And, and Paul, amen, goes, but they reject Paul. And Paul repeals, and he's going to the top. And then Paul gets to this place, amen, hallelujah, where he gets on this ship that is shipwrecked on his way to Caesar. Amen. And he begins to talk to King Agrippa, and he begins to let King Agrippa know. King Agrippa, praise God, I know you know what God said. I know you know what, God, what the word says. He said, oh, King Agrippa, he says, I said, Paul, amen, you are permitted to speak for yourself. Huh? Paul begins to declare, amen, unto King Agrippa, amen, that it is it amazing that God should raise somebody from the dead. He begins to declare unto King Agrippa, hallelujah, let him know, praise God, that this same Jesus, huh, hallelujah, that they killed, uh, God raised up on the third day, huh, hallelujah. Huh? And when he got done talking to King Agrippa, King 
King Agrippa, praise God, saw Paul's, hallelujah, power. He saw Paul's, amen, exuberance. He saw Paul's, amen, civility in what he believed and his conviction. And what did he say? Paul, hallelujah, you are beside yourself. Huh? You must go crazy, amen, for Jesus. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Learn how to lose our mind and get the mind of God. And we need the mind of God. We'll do the will of God. And when we do the will of God, we'll get the blessings of God. Anybody want the blessings of God in here? Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. But let them know you got to lose your mind. That's why they think y'all church go crazy. Come on. That's right. Because you ain't thinking about you, you're thinking about somebody else. That's right. That's not what the world teaches. The world nope. teaches, amen, raise yourself up by your own bootstraps. The world teaches, pray God, pat your own stuff on the back. It's amazing that your arm ain't made to do that. That's right. No matter how hard I try, I can't do it. That's right. Praise the Lord. I got to get a little thing to pat myself on the back. Praise the Lord. God is speaking to the church today, amen, about your thoughts, amen, and this year transformation. And when Paul began to declare unto King Agrippa, amen, Paul, praise God, the first thing he says is that I think myself happy. Hallelujah. Oh, King, praise God, because I have been accused of some things by my brother. When they get done talking about Paul, amen, they would have released him because he has done nothing that reward of death and of violence. But I'm here to let us know today, hallelujah, amen, when we're locked up and tied up in situations, being saved in God, being worshiping in the Lord, celebrating the God, the enemy wants to lock us up and tie us up, but we have to understand something. We got to change our mind, change our thoughts, hallelujah, move them into things, praise God. I got to make myself happy in the things of Jesus. I got to get me a song. I got to get me a hymn. That's why I might have been singing them songs today, because if you ain't happy, I'm going to make myself happy. David said, you got to encourage yourself in the Lord sometimes. Sometimes you got to step on the car on the side of the road and say, guess what? We're going to get out and give God a praise. We're going to get out and shout hallelujah, because hallelujah, when I'm getting ready to face it, I need you, Lord, to go before me. Before I get there, Lord, send an angel, send a praise, break the atmosphere. So when I show up, you're going to rise. Every enemy got to scatter. That's what your praise does. That's what your celebration does. But you got to change your mind. You got to think yourself happy. This word think is not think like you think it thinks. Right. This word think means to take ruin and control over something. <laughs> when this word is translated in other places in the Bible, it means chief or governor. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean think. This is the only place where this word, and all cities since book is where this word is translated out of Greek as think. And you say, Pastor, what's the significance of that? The significance of that is that you've got to learn how to control your own mind using the word of God. That's right. You got to make man when things look bad, you got to say, you know, it's going to be all right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you got to be able to prophesy to yourself and say, you know what? Though he's slaving, yet will I trust him. Yes, what? Trust things ain't working out, but guess what? It's going to work out in my favor. Right. Lord, here we are. <laughs> and we will hit it <laughs> with everything we got. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Too many times we allow our circumstances to see and happy, praise God, does not deal with the Holy Ghost down on the inside. That's joy. <laughs> see, joy is one of the fruits of the Spirit. <laughs> when you get the Holy Ghost, joy is supposed to come. Uh -huh. We some hallelujah try to cry on the altar and, um, and a missionary or the mother of the evangelist, praise God, will let you cry there for a little while and then they ask after a while, you, how you feeling? Amen. You wake up, you look up like this. I don't know how. But you say you better get back down here. That's right. Amen. Amen. Until you get some joy. That's right. Amen. Until you get some joy in Jesus. Praise the Lord, because that's a spiritual gift that God gives us. Mm -hmm. But happiness deals with my circumstances. Yes. Happiness deals with my situations. Yes. Happiness, praise God, hallelujah. Amen, lets me know, praise God, I'm well off, I'm fortunate. Amen, praise God. And I am supremely blessed over the things that are going on. And Paul is telling us through the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, just like he did. You got to change your thought, because when you change your thought, your whole world will change. Hallelujah. 
There's more people depressed today and oppressed. They got millions of dollars in the bank. Give me a million dollars in the bank. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. There's a whole lot of depressed millionaires and billionaires. Why? Because there's something wrong with their mind. Give me a man, just give me a cool meal. I will to show you how to do it. That's right. Look, 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 there's some billionaires that give all of us a million. Come on. We didn't even miss it. That's right. And they still married in the press. Right. Something wrong with their mind. The enemy got a hold of their mind. They got everything in the world and they still not happy. Because they realize, they come to the realization what Solomon says, there's nothing new on this sun. And money don't make me happy. The joy of God and knowing I'm not going to go to hell and I got heaven at my home should make us happy. Amen. Paul said, I reckon that the sufferings of this present world are not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Oh, right. You better learn to think yourself to get you some happy thoughts. I know that. Yeah. Praise the Lord. It'll change your life. Yeah. It'll change your perspective. Yeah. It'll change everything that's going on. Hallelujah. In your household. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Don't let mama be mad in the house. I grew up in mama's mad. That's everybody. That's right. I know that's right. That's right. Preach that. I know that's right. Mama ain't happy that's today. Right. That's right. You better get the praise and please. That's you right. See, I don't know what you're talking about, don't you? Yeah, don't sure. be mad in the house. Everybody, good on. Look, oh, praise yeah. the Lord. Ain't nothing getting cooked. Ain't nothing getting That's clean. Right. He That's might right. not even be on. That's why. Right. Because mama not happy with that. Right. 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 Well, mama's happy, she be cooking pancakes. Come on, man. Fishing omelets. Amen. Iron your clothes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. She might even go and bring home some McDonald's to get you happy. Come on, man. See, yeah. happiness... The only thing Amen. that changed was her thought process. Amen. But her thought process affects everybody. Amen. Your thought process affects everybody. You come in contact with me. Amen. Amen. Look at somebody, you better think you're so happy. You better get happy. Think you're so happy. You know, you need to get happy in the morning. You better send me a man. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking to the church today. Hallelujah. To let us know, praise God. Don't you look at, don't you worry about, hey man, you go home and look at that, at that CNN and that Fox and that, and, 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 right. that, and that Newsmax, hey man, praise God, that ABC, CBS, and NBC, and some of y'all ain't going to be able to go up ESPN after we leave church, I know you ain't, praise God, don't you, don't you, don't you let that stuff, all that stuff that's going on right there, get your mind all mixed up, that God's not still in control, let me tell you something, hallelujah, God's still in control, as a matter of fact, God's not allowed this stuff to happen, to let us know, Praise God that our confidence, hallelujah, our hope is still not built in man. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame. The holy name of Jesus, name, like Christ the Son of Rock, we got to stand. All in the ground is sinking sand. If you believe it, come on, give God a praise in the house. Because we got to hold on and hold out and see what the end's going to be in Christ Jesus. Think yourself happy in your circumstances. Think yourself happy because I can do, I can do, I can do all things through Christ that strip the me. Wrong thinking will give you high blood pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong thinking, praise God, will make your mind, will make you give your body aches and pains. Come on, man. Wrong thinking. Right. That's somebody just thinking, stinking. Right. No, 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 no. 
It's just thinking, it's thinking, it's smell. Right. Not to you, because let me tell you something. When you ain't had a bath, see, people who don't, who don't stink don't smell themselves. Right. When you hit that time when you turn it from 10, 12, 13, the little boy, something happens. Somebody don't talk about it. You know, they were doing whatever. The next thing you know, like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's going on, but they don't know what's going on. You, 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 you need to go in there and take a shower. And please use some soap. And we got to go down to the Target or the Walmart and see a little. Let's get down to the to the Wawa and get some deal. Walmart's too far away. <laughs> Because they don't smell themselves. Right, right, right. But they stink. Because yep. they growing up right. and changing. Oh my God. Same Amen. way with young ladies. Same, same way, same yeah, way. Y'all just, y'all just do a little different. I don't want to say no. They do a little different. They, but you know, you know, mama said, you know what, you need to go fix that. Right. <laughs> but unless somebody tells my son that he smells, or unless a mother tells her daughter how to conduct these things, they'll walk around and think they're okay. Man, that's right. Man, burning the place up. <laughs> 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 that's what it's like, man. My nose on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't talk about, you know, when somebody stinks, you know, they leave, they leave and the residue of these stays in the room. <laughs> Somebody don't talk about them. Yes. <laughs> it's the same way, praise God, in the spirit. Right. When we have a stinky, foul spirit or a stinking foul attitude. Praise God, you could have brought donuts this morning. You brought coffee from Starbucks this morning. Praise the Lord. And for the whole office, and then that one stinking person walk in the office. Right. You don't want no coffee no more. <laughs> you don't even want to you don't even want to look at a donut. <laughs> They just mess up everything. Amen. Church of the living God. Come on now. Just the same way as thinking, guess what? We can think ourselves happy and should be happy. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Think, think yourself happy, church. Amen. Take authority over your thoughts That's right. about your current situation. Right. Paul said it like this. No matter what state I find myself there in, I have learned. I have what? Learned. There with to be content. I've learned how to be happy Preach. in this situation. That's right. That's right. Praise God. I've Preach. learned. Even though, though things ain't always going the right way, I've learned, praise the Lord, that if God is allowing this, yeah. then God is with me. That's right. Because <laughs> things are worse than, well, worse than, not really worse, but things are worse than they really are. Amen. Right. God is speaking to the church today. Amen. Got a lot of accusations since the saints. Praise God, I'm not crazy. I just got my mind, I just got my mind renewed. That's right. That's right. God had to touch my mind. That's right. God had to touch my And then when God touched my mind with his word, that word would touch my spirit. That's right. right. And then praise God, hallelujah, it'll touch my heart. And then the Bible says, out of the heart what speaketh, the mouth what speaketh. Yeah, right. That's how I know words in your mind. Right. Hallelujah, love's in your heart by what you talk about. That's right. Amen. Because it's going to come out. A fountain can't give forth bitter and sweet water. Either it's going to be nasty or it's going to be sweet. Let me tell you something also. You can't really praise and celebrate God being mad at somebody. Because as soon as you say, Lord Jesus, your God, don't say you need to fix that. That's right. He said, you got to always your brother what? Go there, get it right first, then come bring your sacrifice. That's right. Me. Praise God, how can you love me who you've never seen? And you hate your brother who you hang out with every day. That's right. I know they took the car and burned up all the gas. I know they did. Ain't your sandwich your name on in the refrigerator. I know they did. I know that's right. I know that's right. Praise the Lord. I know mama had one last piece of fried chicken and a blood for last night. You had it in your heart and mind. And by the time you got there, it was better than that already. Yeah. All you saw was the empty bones in the sink. In the bone. And it messed it with your mind. Mind. Hallelujah. Because you already had a plan. See, he, God said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts are good and not evil. Right. Bring it to an expected end. 
We have thoughts that we think about ourselves. Right. Yeah. And we have expectations. Right. And when those expectations are not met, right. either by whatever everything, a circumstance, or situation, we get mad and upset. Yeah. Right. Right. But I've learned how. And I'm learning how. Right. Praise God, Lord, whatever, amen, is for me, it is for me. We used to sing that song. We used to sing that song too. What God has for me, it is for me. I know without a doubt that he, that he will bring me out. What does that have to do with anything? It has everything to do because deliverance is an aspect of God that God, hallelujah, will always do his show, bring his show. Yeah, though I walk. Through. See, some of y'all walk to the shallow. Y'all, 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 y'all need Letterman to change that word. Y'all remember Letterman? Yeah. See, I'm telling my age, ain't I? That's, that was up there with conjunction, junction. What's your fault? See, 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 Letterman come in and you had a bad word. Right, right. Like read, read, read this. That's a bad word to some folks. And he put a B in front of it. I say bread. Go say he's a bread. He's not bad. Praise God. See, some of us. Praise God. Hallelujah. I need a mind fix. Right. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to, I'm not cold. I'm not trying to go into mind control. Praise right. the Lord. But I'm trying to let the word of God yes. have free course in you. Right. 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 Pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Amen. What did Jesus do? He only did things that pleased the Father. The Father. Amen. That was the mind of Christ. Had. He had such a mind that pleased God. That when his mother at the wedding Come said, on. said, we need something. She said, she put a demand on God. So did. She sure did. She said, God, Say you that. need to do this. Say Basically that. what she said. Say that. She did. God said, Jesus said, he said, you know what, Mom? I hear, hear your demand. Right. But this is not the time. Right. right. And then she just turned away and said, whatever you tell you to do, we do it. And then she said, Lord, mm-hmm. like a mom. I needed a mind fix. Yes, when we start demanding things of God yes. that are outside of God's word. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Right. God don't have to perform this. No, no, no. No, he don't. But what he'll do is he'll try to recorrect you back into the right path. Right. right. Just like he did Mary. Mary said, he said, Mary said, okay, all right, I know, I know he God in flesh. Right. And he my son. Yes, Praise the Lord. But he only going to do the things that please his father. Right. right. Yes, mama. And Jesus said, okay, well, you know what? I might not do it her way, but I'm going to do it my right. way. Right. See, too many times we want to do it our way. Right. And God already has a way. That's right. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man. Preach. Man. Yeah. Y'all know the rest of that scripture? Yeah, but, the end thereof, but the end thereof are the, the ways, ways of death. death. Yes. Yes. And if he not and if I if I know anything about man in my little fifty two years on this earth, I know everybody think they write it sometime. Yeah. 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 That's right. Brother, you say it or not. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You say it or not. Even the kid right. When mama say, Boy, what you doing in there getting the cookies? You in there Mama said, We need I'm, I'm gonna go get them cookies. Because I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cook, 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 oil all around the mouth. All around the mouth. Did you take them cookies? No. Because no. <laughs> I'm right. That's right. Mom, you don't suck about me, Mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no I know my, oh Jesus. Yeah. My mama had, had a ring on both fingers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I had flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> I told this one lady, it was one lady, she, she was in the church. I'm, I'm going to tell myself. <laughs> I would had to be three, three, two or three, amen. And she was a kind of heavy set lady, and I forgot her name, but her name was known. I called her Sister Potato Nose. Potato Nose. What? And before the S got out of my mouth, before the S got out of my mouth, I said before the Mr. Nose got out of my mouth, I was tasting gold in my teeth. <laughs> I was tasting gold in my teeth. That's right. I was like, what happened? That's right. I thought I was right. That's right. But mama had to help me out with that right. That's right. To the point where I still remember that today. <laughs> See, guess what? Sometimes trauma is good. Right. Right. It helps you remember when you were wrong. That's right. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was a, I was a something or another. I was. But I was a sinner. Amen. What am I supposed to do? Right. Young as a four, praise the Lord. Amen. Do what I'm doing my thing. Praise the Lord. But praise God, I had to find out, praise the Lord, that somebody needed to help me move in the right direction. That's right. And that's what the word of God is doing. It's helping us do what? Move in the right direction today. Amen. And, and the word today, amen, February 11th, praise the Lord, amen, is think yourself happy. That's right. Don't you get more happier with the 49ers and the Chiefs? 
than you are. This I know that's right, Pastor. Right. 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 You sitting on the pew like this. I know that's sitting right. Sitting on the pew like this. That's right. And he sings and sings. That's right. And as soon as there's, amen, a 25 yarder, Come on. praise the Lord, from my home, from my home to Kelsey, whoop, reach it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know you. That's right. <laughs> but I know a Lord. Come on. Come on, man. That knows even the number of hairs on my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the Lord that knows the number of cells in my body. Amen. I know the Lord that knows more about me than I know about myself. That's right. And He deserves the best praise we got. That's See, right. we got to change our mind. That's right. Thank you, Lord. I got to make myself happy. Yeah. Go on in that building tomorrow. Drag yourself all in there. Get yourself, go ahead, take a shower, get get a put on your best suit or your best dress tomorrow, go to church. Go, look, I'm challenging somebody. Put on your best tomorrow. Don't come in there with them pajamas on. <laughs> I said, I said, when they start wearing pajamas at Walmart. Okay. 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 Put on your best shit. Get, go, go, go down to the to, 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 to the Macy's, amen, and get you, get you some good smell of cologne and perfume. Put that on, amen, amen. Unwrap your hair and curl it at the ends. <laughs> Praise him. Put your stockings on and some heels, amen, and take your oil on in there. That's right. Amen. No, and start going around there and giving God a praise. That's right. This place is sad, but we're going to think ourselves happy today. <laughs> get there real early. Get there early for all of them. Get there. That's right. And just start going through the place and giving God praise. That's right. and, 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 and go back to your place and just sit down and, and watch, watch God do something. Say that. See, what God needs Come on. is a man. Yeah. What God needs is a woman. Right. To release him into an atmosphere. That's right. That's what he needs. That's right. Jesus. Remember, y'all remember Adam, right? Yeah. Right. What did he give Adam? He gave Adam what? Dominion. That's right. Adam lost dominion. Right. The Holy Ghost through Jesus being baptized in his name and full of the Spirit regives us the dominion. That's right. So some of us need to go home and some need to go back to our job and take dominion. dominion. Take dominion. That's right. Take, take the look. Do not ask for it. That's right. right. And they ain't gonna give it to you. Oh, right. 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 When it comes to operating your authority, yes. The devil ain't nice. No. Oh, 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 oh. The devil run all over the place. Oh, devil, will you please leave? He ain't going nowhere. No. <laughs> um, you know, you can call the havoc in my children. Will you please? No, uh, uh, ain't no please in that. That's yeah. right. No. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence. Come on. You got to go. That's right. There you go. Amen. Come on. Come on, man. In the name of Jesus. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Now, my son made me, you know, my son, I've been, pat, I've been uh, following long enough. I guess I got some cliches. And my father, my son said, said I was doing something. And he, he said, and I was doing something. He said, said, said we, we ain't doing that right there. He put a little said, We ain't doing that right there. <laughs> 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 so we gotta do something different. Church, look at somebody said, We ain't doing that right there. We ain't doing that right there. We're taking the phone. We're taking the phone. We can ready to pray. <laughs> We can't pray because prayer is the most powerful weapon, one of the most powerful weapons we right. have. Amen. It's praying. Hallelujah. 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 That's why I encourage everybody, if you ain't got on the 6 o'clock prayer, get on the 6 o'clock prayer. Amen. Amen. If you haven't been on, you haven't been on the Sunday morning prayer, amen, get on the Sunday morning amen. prayer. Amen. If you haven't been on Wednesday prayer, yeah. amen. We, the people said, the Bible, Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Right. But y'all made it into a den of thieves. Mm. Wrong mind. Right. They, their mind was changed. Praise God. We pray all the time. Amen. We pray five days a week. We pray Amen. twice on Wednesdays and four times on Sunday. Right. And, 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 and this is not an indictment. It is, but it's not. 
It is, but it's not. It is. You need, if you're not in prayer, you need to get in prayer. That's Amen. right. Amen. 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 And let God begin to move some things in your life. That's right. Look, we don't ask you to turn your camera on. You can have your curlers on. That's right. Have, have, have you, look, we don't want to, you know what? I don't be like, turn your camera on. Just get on. Right. And be in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Be in the presence of God. That. And let God do some things that you've been trying to do for 20 years yeah. and turn around in 20 minutes. Right. Amen. 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 Let God arise. Amen. Every enemy. Every enemy. Gotta scatter. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, God. Fall seven, seven, seven times. Yeah. Come on. Thank God for number eight. Yeah. I'm so glad as we stand to our feet Amen. that the Lord hasn't given me a 50 second chance or, or a second chance. He's given me another chance. Hallelujah. Anybody glad God's given us another chance? The prayer right now is for our minds. Amen. Our whole thing this year is what? Transformation of what? Tra a year of what? Transformation. So thank you, Lord, for giving us the scripture today. He really wants us to let us know that we have control and authority over our thoughts. Stop letting the whims and the M's and the, and, and the likes and the not likes dictate your, 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 your thoughts. I mean, I look at that YouTube, man, people do all kind of crazy stuff. I said, I don't even, I said, what's that crazy? You know, it just shows up in your feet. You ain't looking for it. It just kind of finds you. Oh, they must want, you know, people desiring different things of other people. Amen. But we have to, as the song says, I love God. I love you, Jesus. We have to want to please the Lord. Right. Amen. Amen? Amen? So the prayer right now is that God touch our mind. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you Amen. for your grace. Yes, thank you for your mercy. Yes. Lord, help me to think right. Yes. Help me to view the situation correctly. Yes. Help me, Lord, to know, God, that you are still my help. When my heart is overwhelmed and it affects my attitude yes. and the ways I think, help me to get quiet before you. Help me find a song. Put a song in my spirit. Put a scripture in my heart to redirect me back into your ways and your testimonies. Give me guardrails not to go past. But help me, Lord, to be a good steward of my thoughts and of my family and of my home. We pray right now. As Jesus finished in Matthew chapter 7 that we have the authority. Help us take authority. We bind the spirit of fear. And those who are concerned that the enemy is going to show up. But he said greater is he that's in us. Than whatever the devil can do to us. That he that's in this world. Help us walk in your word today. Help us embrace your, your, your ways. And we give you praise for what you do in our life. Yes. In Jesus' name. Now, if you believe God answered your prayer, give him a hand clap. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Other church got hallelujah. Now, if you don't know him in the pardon, well, we can continue if you don't know him in the pardon of your sin. You know, Jesus came. That we might have life and have it more abundantly. Right. Praise right. God. Part of my regeneration and the renewal of my mind is that I get rid of my sin. Sin corrupts my thoughts. So God has made a way for our thoughts to be uncorruptible, be not so as corrupted through his words, through his blood. If you don't know him, amen, in baptism and remission of your sin, we can you can be baptized today in Jesus' name. You can receive the Holy Ghost today. In Jesus' name, the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking other tongues as the Spirit of God gives utterance. I'm just going to ask you, is there one today that desires Amen. this from the Lord? Hallelujah. Desires God. Desire the Lord to be in your life. Is there one today? I think myself happy. Hallelujah. I think you need to write that on a post-it note and stick it on your, your mirror when you look at that in the morning. Can we say amen? Amen. I think myself happy. Hallelujah. Anybody desire prayer today? Come out to the Holy Ghost. This is your day. This is your time. This is what God wants from us. If you want today, 
praise I God. will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this in the name that the Lord has made. I will be known for the earth. Father, heaven, Lord God, we come to you once again. Thank you for your tender love and mercy. Father, we thank you for your presence in this place. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for another opportunity in the land of the living. Father, we thank you for how you brought us over the dangerous highways and byways. Father, we thank you and praise you for a pastor that preaches in the word. Father, death, burial, and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for that precious day on Calvary. Lord, how you laid down your life that it's possible that we're here today. Father, we ask that you bless us. As a, as, as a unit, bless us as one, combine us with cause of love that cannot be broken in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for this offering, Lord. We ask that you bless it for the upbuilding of your kingdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 You have a seat in the house of God. Just a quick reminder that we do have our, 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 our fellowship this afternoon at Deacon Austin's. If you need an address, just see me or Deacon Murray. We'll get that to you. I believe it starts around 6. The game comes on 6.30, so... Fellowship, just for those who would like to come out and be a part. Uh, we ask those who bring something, if you choose to do so, that's fine. But we'll be there. Amen? Amen. And then also next Sunday we have uh, our annual business meeting for members of the church for uh, about 1.30 next week. And then I think the brothers the brothers got their service on the fourth Sunday. Amen? So let's receive Deacon Murray and prepare for his baptism. Amen? Amen. And he'll dismiss us in Jesus' name. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Say, Praise the Lord. So very quickly, because I'm excited about the baptism, let's go through this. Amen. Hallelujah. She had a hand up. Oh, somebody had their hand up? Who? I did. Oh, yes. I was say, well, you can do it now, Paul. Food pantry. Yeah, it's on there. Why well, guess. Glory. Uh, read through the Bible, if you have not. Give him the names and your $5 for the teams. For Make sure that Brother Max gets it.